Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Sean and in today's video, we're going to be discussing Salaman Greats for more intermediate level players. I did a video yesterday for beginner level players where I really just kind of gave a brief overview of what this deck likes to do and what its overall goal is. Um, that is just to try and keep it simple because this deck has a lot of depth to it. Today's video, we're going to try and make this more for intermediate players where I'm going to break down this deck into the different roles of the different cards and try and talk about what this deck is trying to do in a little bit more detail than I did in the previous video. So if you feel like this is a bit more complicated, feel free to go watch the beginner level video and watch that, or watch both of them. They both work well together. So, Salomon Great. This is a generic style Salomon Great build, and when you're playing Salomon Great, the main thing you need to know are the little combos which allow you to summon Sunlight Wolf. There are many ways to get into your Link 2 monster, and as many Link based decks work, your Link 2 monster is your main engine extender for the deck. A lot like Orcus, a lot like Christron, Halky Firebrax, the Link 2 card is what gets you more free cards to the field or to your hand, depending on what deck you're playing, and it's no different for Salaman Great. Now, there are so many different ways you can make Sunlight Wolf that you kind of have to practice and learn these little different combos. But once you do, and once you kind of are familiar with that, the rest of the deck just falls naturally into place. Because once you know how to sun, uh, summon Sunlight Wolf reliably, all you need is an extender or two to go into your higher level Link monsters, and then you can just carry on uh, adapting your plays from there. So today, that's kind of really be our main focus. And so what we're going to do here is, first of all, we're going to look at the starters. Now all of these cards are one card starters that can help you get two fire, not one card starters, my apologies, but all of these cards are starters which can get you two fire effect monsters on the field, which can then be used for summoning Salem and Great Sunlight Wolf. Now Flame Buffalo, Foxy and Cyanite Mining are two card starters, whereas Lady Debug, Gazelle, Jack Jaguar, Spinny and Circle are one card starters. That just basically means that with two cards, you can get your Sunlight Wolf, or with one card, you can get your Sunlight Wolf. Uh, as long as, of course, uh, the, the relevant effects actually resolve and your opponent doesn't disrupt them. But the reason why this deck works so, so well and reliably is that because you have so many different starters on this deck, once your starters kind of... Um, if your starters are negated by your opponent's interaction, such as they try to use hand traps against you, your other starters become extenders for the deck and they can extend your plays further so that you can still get to the, your overall goal by using the remaining cards in your hand that are available to you at the time, which is why this deck is so resilient. So let's talk about the starters and what we have here. And first we're gonna talk about the non-Salomon Great cards and those are two Lady Debugs and three Fame Buffalo. Lady Debug is very simple and easy to understand. You normal summon her, you get to add a level three or lower Cybers monster from your deck. Straightforward, simple, gives you a free card. Very nice. Flame Buffalo is a little bit more trickier. When this card leaves the field, and the main way you're gonna do that is you're gonna normal summon this card and then link it away for Salomon Gate Bay Links. When this card leaves the field, you can choose to discard one Cyburst monster, and if you do, draw two cards. Now, a lot of, there is a lot of debate going on between what's better, Buffalo or Lady Debug, and they're both very, very different cards, but they both are just as good in my opinion. Always in Yu-Gi-Oh! it's always better to do searching, which is what Lady Debug does. But if you ever open in a hand and you've kind of already got the cards, the level 3 or lower Cybers monsters that you need, and you don't really need any other car, uh, Cyber monsters in your deck from your hand, uh, from your deck to your hand, then you could just go with Flame Buffalo and draw more cards into your deck and get the, uh, different cards by that method instead. Also, Fame Buffalo can potentially get you a plus two, whereas Lady Debug is always going to be a plus one. And the way that is, is if you use Fame Buffalo's effect to send a Cyber monster from your hand to the graveyard that can then recur itself with its own effect, like Spinny, you can then get two cards for free because you're not really losing anything. Let me just point that out and explain that to you again. So, if you summon Lady Debug, you get a free card. If you summon Flame Buffalo, you have to send it to the graveyard and one card from your hand, so you're losing two cards. But then you're going to get back the Bailings that you're summoning, plus the two cards you're drawing. And if the card that you sent to the graveyard can summon itself back, you're getting plus two overall, as opposed to just being a one. So Flame Buffalo can help you dig through your deck a little bit faster than, say, uh, Lady Debug, depending on the situation. Then we have Salam Great Foxy. 
Foxy uh, can be a normal summon for the deck, but you don't really want to use it as a normal summon. If you have Flame Buffalo and Lady Debug, you must always use these as your normal summon, whereas Foxy is kind of like an optional normal summon. If you do use this as a normal summon, you can say uh, do its first effect, and that is excavate the top three cards of your deck. And if you do, add one excavated sediment card from your deck to your hand. Also shuffle the rest into your deck. Excavation like this is not as reliable as searching and drawing. But it's there is an option as well if you so need to. The, uh, this card better works as a uh, for its summon effect. And that is if this card is in the graveyard and the face of a spiller trap card is on the field. You can discard one sediment card to special summon this card to the field. And then you can destroy a face of a spiller trap card on the field if you want to. So uh, yeah, better works as a, um, a for a special summon effect, but can also be a normal summon as well if you need to. Gazelle, Gazelle is in a fantastic extender and starter. You summon this card to the field anytime a summon rate monster is sent to your graveyard, and then um, once this card has been normal or special summoned, you can send one summon rate card from your deck to your graveyard. A really nice way to load up your graveyard with resources so you can get them back with Sunlight Wolf later on. Jack Jaguar is a fantastic extender and also a really good starter where um, the, how this card works is if this card is in your graveyard you can shuffle one celebrate card from your graveyard while a celebrate link monster is on your field shuffle one celebrate card as in your graveyard uh, is it card? monster and that has to be a monster uh, in your graveyard back into your deck and then you can summon this to your field to a zone a link monster points to um, really good way for recycling your resources and managing your resources overall and kind of shuffling them back into your deck. You know, mostly want to shuffle back cards into your extra deck and not your main deck so you can reuse those link summons again and again and again. Uh, Spinny, yeah, very, very easy card to use. Uh, if you control a Celebrate card, you can discard this card, then target one monster on the field and it gains 500 attack. That can be your opponent's mod cards too, so do not forget that. And the 500 attack boost is not important. What is important is that this card on its own can send itself to the graveyard if you ever draw it or have it in your hand. So if you don't want to normal summon it and link it away, you can just discard it, give something an attack boost, and it's where you want it to be. And the reason why you want it to be in the graveyard is because of the next effect. If you control a sudden rate monster other than the spinny on the field and this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card to the field, but you have to banish it the next time it leaves the field. Moving on, we have Silent Mining. Silent Mining is a generic uh, draw, uh, search card. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Add one level 4 lower cyber monster from your deck to your hand. Again, like Flame Buffalo, you want to send something that can bring itself back from the graveyard. So uh, ideally put something in the graveyard that's better rather than just any random card. And then you have Celebrate Circle, which simply says add one Celebrate monster from your deck to your hand. Now, all of these cards, as I think I already said, are uh, one or two card starters for Sunlight Wolf. And after the end of this video, I will show you how to do these little combos overall to make a Sunlight Wolf um, after we've gone through the rest of the profile. So, let's start talking about extenders. Now, what you're going to notice immediately is a lot of the cards we had here as starters are also extenders, which is why this deck is so, so good, because your cards for multiple roles and multiple uh, purposes. The cards that we didn't have here before are Falco, Foul, Pot of Desires, Mole, um, Sanctuary, and Will of the Celebrant Great, and also Sunlight Wolf, of course. Falco is a little bit of a recursion effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one spell or trap card that is Celebrant Great in your graveyard and set it to your field. Or alternatively, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Celebrant monster you control, return it to your hand, and if you do, Special summon this card to the field. This is a nice way to kind of recur certain monsters that, from your field to the hand. Particularly things like Gazelle. You can put it back in your hand and then use it again later on in order to summon it again. So uh, Falco is really good for kind of just recycling cards and then also giving you a free summon. Foul. If a normal, if a summon rate monster except Foul is normal or special summon to your field, you can special summon this card from your hand. Very easy extender to use. Just summon it to the field. Uh, Mole is like Foul. During your main phase, if you link summon this turn, you can special summon this card from your hand to a zone a link monster points to. And then we also have Pot of Desires. We play free Pot of Desires just because uh, you you'd always want your deck to get started. If your deck gets started, you're always kind of fine. And you're playing a lot of freels in this deck, so playing Desires isn't too bad. But um, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm always mixed up Desires, but 
um, it works for this deck. Uh, Sanctuary, this is your main card in order to do your one card reincarnation summons. And then we have three copies of Will of the Salamon Great. Will of the Salamon Great says during your main phase, you can special summon one Salamon Great monster from your hand or graveyard. So easy extending there, monster reborn style effect. And then this card has its second effect. And that is you can send this face up card from the field to the graveyard. Target one Salamon Great Link monster you control that was Link summoned using a monster with its same name as material, aka your reincarnated Link summons. And summon Salamon Great monsters from your hand and or graveyard in defense position up to that monster's link rating. You can only use one wheel of the celebrate effect per turn. Really, really crazy extender. You can get you uh, multiple monsters to the field. You can get two monsters to the field if you have a reincarnating uh, Sunlight Wolf, three for a Heat Leo, four for a um, uh, Pyro Phoenix. As long as those monsters can be summoned in defense, uh, you can bring them back. So these cards are really amazing. Now, uh, Bailey Xbox is an extender because even though it's a starter to get cards into the graveyard, it also extended, it was an extender because it's your main way to search out your field spell, Salamon Great Sanctuary. And then we also have Sunlight Wolf. Sunlight Wolf is uh, an insane extender. His normal effect is that if he uh, monster is summoned to a zone it points to, he can get any fire monster back from your graveyard and add it to your hand. Really cool way to recycle your cards. And then its uh, second effect is. If this card was reincarnated summoned, you could add one Salamon Great Spell or Trap card from your graveyard to your hand. So just more extenders, more cards, more free cards to get uh, more resources and more recycling. Removal. Removal is very straightforward for this deck. For our main deck, we have uh, the, uh, the removal in the form of Foul. Foul isn't really removal, but kind of functions similar for removal, where uh, its effect is you can send one Salamon Great card from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard, target a set spell or trap card your opponent controls, and then that card cannot be activated for this turn. So it kind of just locks them off for certain things if you uh, without actually getting rid of it, but it can still help you nonetheless. Foxy, we already said, when this card is summoned from the graveyard, it can destroy spells or trap cards on the field that are face up. And then we have Celebrate Rage, which is your one of your uh, two main traps. Celebrate Rage says, send one Celebrate monster from your hand or face up on the field to destroy a card on the field. Or you could target one Celebrate Link monster you control that was Link summoned using reincarnated summon. I'm not going to read the whole thing every time. Destroy cards your opponent controls up to that monster's Link rating. Really, really nice effect. You do a reincarnation with Sunlight Wolf, you get to destroy two cards. Three for Heat Leo, four for Pyro Phoenix. Speaking of which, we have one Nightmare Phoenix to destroy spells and trap cards in this deck. Uh, it's also a fire monster, which is nice, and it can be co linked quite easily with Sunlight Wolf, which means you get to get a free draw. Uh, Heat Leo can also get rid of spells and trap cards on the field when it is Link Summoned. You can also use this technically as monster removal by using its attack modifying effect to make a monster your opponent controls either too weak for you to attack over or make one of your monsters bigger than their monsters using this attack modifying effect. So you kind of have a form of monster removal, but. Uh, it's kind of a roundabout way for it. And then Pyro Phoenix, if this card is reincarnated summoned, you can blow up all cards your opponent controls. Really straightforward blow up nuke effect, quite nice for a Link 4. Defense. Defense, it, we play uh, several hand traps. Double Ash, because she's a fire monster and can be getting back from your graveyard to your hand. Double Draw, again, I just wanted to put an engine stopper. Uh, something that will just say to your opponent, hey, uh, I want to play the game and I don't want you playing the game, so you can play Droll, you can play it be Lancia, whatever you want this to be. I play Droll for, for now. Infinite Permanence to negate uh, monster effects cannot be negated by graveyard based uh, negation like uh, Call by the Grave. And then uh, Rage can be used defensively. And then we've also got Salamon Gate Raw. Salamon Gate Raw is your counter trap omni negate, negate a monster spell or trap card um, activation while you control a Salamon Gate Link monster. But if you reincarnate a Salamon Great Monster to your field, you can set this card back but banish it when it leaves the field. So a really nice form of defense there. We also have some uh, Xyz monsters. Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller uh, stop activations in the graveyard that your opponent does. Uh, Baguska. Baguska is really nice. When Baguska is in defense, it forces all monsters on the field to go into defense positions and negates the activated effects. 
almost as a defense position. Now your deck relies on links uh, quite a lot, and link bosses cannot be put into defense positions. So, technically speaking, you can still play cards like Sunlight Wolf, Helio, or Pyro Phoenix while Bagusa's on the field because he can't turn them into defense. Which, if your opponent isn't playing against Link Monsters, that could be really, really oppressive for them to deal with. So, really fun card to combine with uh, this deck here. And for rank 3s, we have uh, Baboos and Gossip Shadow. I've never actually summoned this card, but you can try it. Um, basically, you use two level, three link monster, two level 3 monsters to quick effect, change any effect of any opponent's monster effect to be both players draw one card. So it's kind of like a negation, but it doesn't actually negate the effect. It just changes the effect to both players can draw one card. So, yeah. Um, I've never really used this card, to be honest with you, so you can feel free to drop it if you want to. But I'm hoping there's a situation that will come up where I might use it. Then we got Bailix as well. Bailix is also really good as defense. If this card is in your graveyard and a Salmon Great cards would be destroyed by Battle World card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Be smart with this card. Don't just banish it for any really needy effect. You want to protect stuff which is going to give you long um, uh, dividends in the long run, not just any random card. So use it wisely. And then once these cards are all banished, you're never going to get them back. So be careful with it as well. Bombs. Uh, bombs bombs aren't really necessary for this deck, uh, but you kind of do. I'm playing Droll. Hopefully you get certain strategies. It just stops them. Uh, Mole kind of works as a bomb. It's like a graveyard based version of Pass of Avarice. And that is if you control no monsters, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target five Salamon Great cards, shuffle them into your deck and draw two cards. It's kind of like the comeback factor for this deck. So if your opponent somehow really breaks your board and this is in your grave, you can kind of just get two cards to draw, which is uh, nice, but uh, you never want to be in a situation where you need this card. Will of the Salamon Great says uh, during your main, uh, well, I've said what this does already. It can get you a load of monsters backs, which can allow you to do some insane link combos. And other than uh, what we've already talked about, we've also got Boral Sword. It's a link for it, it wins games. It's Boral Sword. So this is the Salamon Great deck overall. Um, I'll quickly go through the cards, and then we'll go into the combos of how you can make Sunlight Wolf. Ash, double Ash, double Droll, three Flame Buffalo, two Lady Debug. One Falco, one Fowl, three Foxy, one Gazelle, three Jack Jaguar, one Mole, three Spinny. Then we have three Sinic Minings, three Pot Desires, one Circle, uh, one Sanctuary, and three Will. Then for Traps, we have three Impermanence, two Rage, and two Raw. Overall, in the extra deck, we have our one Dweller, one Baguska, and one uh, Bamboos named Gossip Shadow. Boral Sword, Nightmare Phoenix, Triple Bay Lynx, uh, Triple Sunlight Wolf, Double Heat Leo, and uh, Double Pyro Phoenix. And that is Salomon Rates overall. So now I'm going to cut over to some gameplay and show you what, how to make Sunlight Wolf in the variety of different ways using your nine, is it nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight different starters here, so eight different combos coming up right now. Okay, so here we are in a Duelist Challenge, and for this combo, I'm going to show you how to make Sunlight Wolf using just Lady Debug. Ignore the rest of the cards in my hand, I'm not going to play them, we're just going to use Lady Debug. So we normal summon Debug, she is going to use her effect to search, and we are going to go and get an extender. Now we want an extender that can summon itself from our hand to the field, or from the graveyard to the field, so uh, the easiest one to get would be Spinny, so we'll just go and grab that, and yeah. So now that we've summoned out Lady Debug and we've done our search, we're going to go for Bay Links and we're going to make Bay Links. And um, now we've got uh, we've already got one free card, but Bay Links is also going to get us another free card. So we're going to go from uh, plus one to now plus two. Uh, not going to chain anything, sorry. No, no foul. So now we've got Sanctuary and we've got Spinny. Now we're going to use Spinny's effect. We're going to activate it, discard it to increase the attack of Bay Links. And then Spinny is now in the graveyard, so we can activate its effect, summon it back to the field. So Spinny will come back to the field. And then we can, we've got two fire effect monsters on the field, and there is your one card Sunlight Wolf. Not only do you have a one card Sunlight Wolf, but you have the ability to reincarnate this. So if you have any spells in your graveyard that you want to get back, you can then activate Sanctuary and then reincarnate your Sunlight Wolf and then you get another free card from your graveyard as well. 
So that is combo, simple combo number one. Right, so here we are for combo number two. We're just gonna wait for Alistair to pass. Hopefully he doesn't have any interruption. And this time we're gonna do a combo using just Salamangate Spinny. And this is again very, very easy to do. So we normal summon Spinny. Spinny is gonna make Bailinx. Bailinx is gonna send to the graveyard. Then we're going to use Bailinx's effect. Bailinx will search out Salamangray Sanctuary. And then it's simply just a matter of using Spinny. Summon itself back to the field. And then we use our two fire effect monsters. And we've got our one card Salamangray uh, Sunlight Wolf. And because we are going second here, we've got our one card Sunlight Wolf. And then we've still got five, six other cards in our hand to mess around and play with and do whatever we want to do to try to be our opponent. Okay. Right, so here we are for another combo. And we're going to now do a combo using Cyanet Mining. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to use Cyanet Mining. We're going to just do Gazelle. So we're going to normal summon Gazelle. This is another really simple combo. Gazelle's effect is going to activate and you're going to send to the graveyard something that can come back later on. Now, um, the easiest card to really send would be Spinny. Uh, even though we have one in our hand already, uh, but it could be a Foxy because we could get a face that's a trap card. Really, there's a lot of options on what you could do here. But for the, sp the sake of simplicity, let's send Spinny. Spinny will go to the graveyard, and then before we do anything else, we're going to make Baylinx. Baylinx will um, come to the field, and then of course, because Baylinx is on the field, his effect is going to trigger, and then we are going to go and grab our Salamon Great Sanctuary. And then we will use Spinny, come back to the field. I think you guys can see where this is going. Spinny comes back to the field and there you've got your two fire effect monsters in order to make Sunlight Wolf. And yeah, again, very, very easy and straightforward. Um, we made our one, uh, our one card Sunlight Wolf and then we still got one, two, three, four, five cards in our hand to mess around with, search more cards or do whatever you want to do. So, on to the next card. Okay, so this time we are going to use Foxy. We're going to use Foxy as a one card combo, so I'm going to show you how to make um, your um, uh, your Sunlight Wolf with just Foxy. You're going to normal summon Foxy and you're not going to use its normal summon effect because you will not be able to summon it back from the graveyard this turn if you choose to do so. Instead, we're going to go straight for our Bailings and Bailings is going to go and grab our Salomon Great Sanctuary. Now, in this combo, we are going to actually activate our Sanctuary because uh, we need to have a face that spell and trap card on the field in order to use Foxy's Revival effect. So we're going to activate Sanctuary and now we can summon back our Foxy. Of course, it doesn't really matter what you discard. It has to be a Salam Great card that you must discard. It doesn't really matter too much because uh, the goal is to get Sunlight Wolf, but I mean, you want to just put something in the graveyard that ideally can be recurred back later. So. Uh, from this hand here, the best card is Jack Jaguar, because Spinny can put itself in the graveyard any time it wants to really, as long as there's a face of Salamway card on the field. Foxy comes back. Uh, you could destroy a card, I don't want to destroy my own card though. And then, here's our two fire effect monsters, and there we go, we have our Sunlight Wolf. And you can reincarnate it, you've got Jack Jaguar in the grave, um, you can extend even further, um, get more cards back. And you can even discard Spinny and go into higher level elite monsters as well. So, that's another combo down. Okay, so for this one, we're going to be using Sinet Mining as our two card starter. So, we're going to send one card from our hand to the graveyard. And so, we're going to send away Falco. Doesn't really matter what we send. Um, we're not going to chain to it. We're going to go and search out Gazelle. So, Gazelle's going to get added to our hand from our deck. And it's really fun to be able to do this. Because um, a uh, Salamon Great card was sent to my graveyard last of all, Gazelle's effect is going to activate straight away. So, this is going to allow me to do my uh, Sunlight Wolf combo without actually using my normal summon at all. So, we're going to do Gazelle's effect. Gazelle's going to send something to the graveyard. Let's say we send Spinny uh, for the sake of simplicity. Uh, could do different cards, doesn't matter. And then we could do, uh, well, I guess we could do Bailinx first. It doesn't matter what order. Let's go Bailinx. Uh, go grab Sanctuary. And then, uh, we whatever card we sent to the graveyard with Gazelle. Uh, sorry, I didn't activate that Bailinx. It doesn't matter, really. Um, of course, normally it would matter, but... Uh, just for the purpose of the combo, whatever. Imagine I added a baby, uh, a sanctuary to my hand, and then we've got two fire effect monsters, and boom, you've got your sunlight wolf. 
and you should already be able to see there's other ways that can extend this combo instead of um, sending for um, uh, what's it called uh, gazelle to the graveyard I could have put Falco back on the field first put the gazelle back in my hand and then it would be uh, they're ready to use later on but there is how you use silent mining to kind of go and make your sunlight wolf all right so this time we are going to do a flame buffalo combo and to make flame buffalo work in order to make it into a two card sunlight wolf you need to have a card in your hand that can bring itself back from the graveyard so we've got spinnies here which is really nice it's gonna work really well here so we've normal summoned our flame buffalo flame buffalo is gonna go to the graveyard and then we're gonna make bailings bailings is gonna get summoned to the field and then Bailings is going to do the search and Chain Link 1 will be Bailings and Chain Link 2 will be Flame Buffalo so Flame Buffalo rules off first and we discard the card that we want to summon that will summon itself back from our hand to the great uh, from the graveyard to the field later on so we send our spinny and then we add our sanctuary then you're going to use the spinny's effect that was discarded send it um special summon it to the field and voila you have your uh, essentially have your two card um, Sunlight Wolf. Very easy, very simple to do. Okay, so this time it's Jack Jaguar's turn. So let me show you how you can do a, um, a one card Sunlight Wolf using Jack Jaguar. Jack Jaguar is a little bit less efficient than the other cards we may have done so far. Um, you are going to have to do a reincarnation summon for this, but it still gets you to a Sunlight Wolf nonetheless. So Bailey's effect is going to activate and then we're going to add our sanctuary now we need a card in our graveyard in order to use jack jaguar's effect so we can, um let's assume that we didn't have any other cards that we could extend with in our hand let's just say we go with sanctuary, uh, sanctuary, sanctuary. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to reincarnate the bailings send it to the graveyard to summon another copy itself out and that way we have a card in the graveyard that can be shuffled back into the deck for Jack Jaguar's effect. Now you never really would want to do this. Um, it is important to shuffle back your link monsters in. You don't really want to shuffle back your main deck monsters in because that just makes your deck thicker and is less efficient. But uh, let's say you had to. Let's say you really, really need to do this. Well, you can still make uh, your Sunlight Morph using this one card as long as you know how to do so. So um, it's still relevant to show you how this works nonetheless. But uh, that still gets you to your Sunlight Morph. And still, I've got four cards in my hand, uh, which I can still extend with. I could say, play Will, I could get back something for my graveyard, my Jack Jaguar, and then still go plus. So, you know, uh, and still meet. Okay, guys, so the final one we're going to show up here is we're going to show how to use Celebrate Circle to do your one card sign like Wolf. Ignore the fact that there are a bunch of banned cards in my graveyard. Um, I just stacked my deck with a bunch of cards just so that I could... Um, draw into circle quicker because I, you can only play one copy of circle so it was taking me forever to be able to draw it so I just put in a bunch of pot of greens and uh, three copies of circle to increase my chances of getting to it but it doesn't matter nonetheless uh, so we've got uh, played circle and we've got gazelle and really this is just the same as all the other combos you, that it uses animal made monsters you just search one out so gazelle I searched that gazelle gazelle can send something to the graveyard let's send spinny and then Spinny will, you, then you do the rest of your combo as here normal. So Circle again is another one card starter for this deck in order to get to use Sunlight Wolf. And then you still have your whole hand to play with after that. So um, yeah, um, I mean, I think this has really done enough of a job to kind of demonstrate how, um, why there are so many one card starters in this deck. And how this deck can just be so resilient against disruption. Uh, if your opponent uses Ash or Veiler against you, it can hurt, but it's not the end of the day because you still have many ways to do different, uh, to do the same, achieve the same goal, um, just via different means. So um, yeah, here's your Sunlight Wolf, and like I said, as soon as you master the Sunlight Wolf, you're you're laughing. Uh, you can make a link. F All you need is just more extenders. So I have Fowl in my hand. I can now make a link free. Ah, oh, should have summoned that to there. That was bad. But um, have a link free. Let's see, I've got Jack Jaguar in Crave. There's another extender. Shuffle something in. I don't know, Bailings. It doesn't really matter. And um, there is a card that I've summoned under Sunlight Wolf. His effect will then trigger. And I can get my Gazelle back. Once you understand how to make the Sunlight Wolf consistently, everything else just falls into place. And everything else just seems to make so much more sense. At least to me, once you kind of get to that point. So hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. Hopefully a more in-depth look at Celebrate Greats has allowed has enticed you a little bit more. And if you want to see me play Celebrate Greats more, feel free to let me know. 
otherwise I'll move on to different decks here. Uh, otherwise I think this deck is very very good and I definitely think people should give it a try. Thank you as always for watching guys, I'll see you soon and take care.